presenting complaint signs and symptoms often masculate so the trick in diagnosing a clinical entity is keen observation as you master your observation skills you will be able to understand why medicine is more of an art than science with these words i am dr manish and i welcome you all to another interesting clinical video on tracheoesophageal fistula two day old male baby weighing 3 kilos presented with complaint of difficulty in breathing and feeding since birth full term appropriate for gestational age baby delivered by lower segment cesarean section 23 year old mother had regular antenatal checkups on examination baby is tachypneic subcostal retractions are present excessive secretions are coming from mouth and nose this baby is drooling that is frequently accompanied by choking the baby turns blue during choking episodes auricular and preauricular skin tags are present on both side drooling in this baby is frequently accompanied by choking and episodes of cyanosis so a clinical diagnosis of esophageal atresia with tracheoesophageal fistula is suspected to confirm the diagnosis simply pass a nasogastric tube nasogastric tube failed to pass in this baby so a plain chest and abdominal x-ray was ordered which shows coiling of tube in upper pouch coiling of tube in upper pouch confirms the diagnosis of esophageal atresia the presence of gas in the stomach and intestines with a coiled nasogastric tube in the proximal pouch confirms the diagnosis of esophageal atresia with distal tracheoesophageal fistula now let's discuss anatomic variants of tracheoesophageal fistula type c is most common where esophageal atresia is present along with a distal tracheoesophageal fistula tracheoesophageal fistula in our baby is also of type c second most common is pure esophageal atresia without tracheoesophageal fistula third most common variant is h type fistula which consists of a tracheoesophageal fistula without esophageal atresia type b and type d are there baby was put on continuous low suction using the plugle tube echo was done and showed no cardiac anomalies and normal left sided aortic arch ultrasound abdomen was done which showed no renal anomalies 2d echo and ultrasound of abdomen were ordered to rule out congenital defects as presence of tracheoesophageal fistula in a baby warrants congenital heart defects and renal anomalies to be ruled out this baby underwent thoracotomy large fistula between distal esophagus and trachea was found which was repaired distal esophageal pouch was very thin and around 1 cm of it was excised there was no fistula in proximal end both ends were anastomosed with each other mild pneumonitis present baby was electively ventilated for 5 days dye study was done post extubation and showed no fistula or leaks intercostal drain was removed child was started on feeds and discharged with advice of exclusive breastfeeding and immunization baby is lying comfortably in bed with no signs of respiratory distress thoracotomy incision has healed well as you are seeing here that's all for now in this video if you have any queries or suggestions then do post in the comment section below if you have been liked or shared yet then do like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe thank you